tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Um, I'm Lance. Um, I just graduated last year, December 2019, with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Architecture at Adamson University. Yeah, and then... Yeah, and then I gained a certificate just Nove just this November at uh, Harvard X, yung online platform ng Harvard University. Yeah, yeah. I studied humanitarian response in conflicts and disaster. Nice, good job, and congratulations! Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Harvard certified, Odiba. Hi, I am Rosie Oreska. Um, same with Lance. I graduate graduated um sa Bachelor of Science Architecture, but with a different school. So I'm um, University of So yeah, that's how we the program. I graduated in the year twenty and currently for jobs. Hopefully by the end of it to have uh, I hope. Yeah, and so so far yun palang. So basically, we met sa organization ng UAPSA. No, parang mm -hmm. ano siya, um, isa siyang national organization ng um, student body siya ng professional org, United Architects of the Philippines. So, my student auxiliary siya, and then um, marami siyang chapters, parang every architecture schools or most of architecture schools sa Philippines, ganon. And then, parehas kaming under area, parang under one area, area B, yun, which is NCR and Southern Luzon, so UST mm -hmm. and Adamson. So, yun, kada, pag may event, like ganon, mga assemblies, Nagkita kami and then one time naging organizing committee kami sa isang uh, event. Ayun, that's the next start. Uh, that was uh, 2018, <laughs> tama ba? Two years ago. Uh, two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Ano, for the family naman, siguro intimate ano lang, uh, celebration. And then, yeah, sa, sa Project Kapwa naman, Ayun, may may plan na kami coming executive committee na Secret Santa. Ayun, tapos nagbunutan na kami last week. Yeah. And then for the projects naman sa Project Kapwa siguro if possible we can push through with Pasko ng Pag-asa or an event no para makapagbigay ng at least small gifts para sa mga medical frontliners and um nurses, uh, medic, uh, I mean, senior citizens, yeah, sa okay. iba't ibang okay. community. You know, um, ambassadors and volunteers, ay, mostly ambassadors from social media, ano sila, like, uh, below 18 years old, so like, well, they, they really have this uh, motive talaga na makagawa ng something, so, and mm -hmm. especially through, kahit through social media lang, and talagang nagulat ako, wow, ang galing, ganito na talaga yung youth today so yes we have a great picture parang ganun. we do we really do i agree yes. that um, you've already done this year ah yes about that mm, hi hi ulit um hi for those that just came in i am rosie oresco planning and operations manager for project kapwa so basically i do keep tracks of the operations of the organization and then the I also um, plan most and then at the same time liquidate and disburse funds that will be used for this operation. So um, here are our operations. Next please. Um, it started nga, diba, as as something na para lang sa community ni Lance at the start kasi he is a one-man team at the time. So for the barangay nila it started during um the quarantine uh lock 
um, early lockdown months. And most of the um, donations came from his relatives. Um, as you can see here is a picture, may mga uh, gulay and mm. uh, pork and manok, ganyan. And may time na they even um, went to Baguio to uh, personally buy this um, gulay para mas mura and at the same time support yung mismong local um, vendors doon. And next mm -hmm. please. And by April 2020, uh, we were able to um, gather donations from uh, organization, companies, kasi at the time, since starting pa lang kami, um, we really don't have that much of a fund yet. So that's how we um, asked for help from them. And good news is they did um, give us um, stuff and example from this, um, water, medicines, meron ding, um snacks, food packs from different companies. Next, please. And uh, these are some of the pictures we had when no, May 2020. So, ito na yung time na um, dinadistribute yung mga um, food packs that we got from our sponsors. Next, please. Um, at the same time, bukod din sa barangay locality, um, we were also able to distribute this food pack sa mga frontliners kasi syempre, um, they are those na nasa frontline ng battle na to in, in this pandemic. Um, more pictures from different sponsors that we had and actually ongoing, they, they are um, continuously uh, giving us uh, support throughout our um, future um, projects pa. Next. Um, another picture from San Pedro Doctors Hospital. Um, this was in June 2020. Uh, by at the same, um, nung June din, um, we were able to give is this my question? Um, give um, the same food packs to delivery riders. Because at that time, sobrang biglang nag-gain ng traction yung online platforms for food delivery and the likes. Next, please. Um, another photo from one of our sponsors last April 2020. Next. And um, ito yung part ng COVID-19 relief operations. Um, so, this one is um, the um, collaboration na ng buong distribution from March until July. So, these are from five di different distribution photos. Next, please. Ayan. Wow. Cute. <laughs> Next. Um, another photo then. Um, when... We were uh we were able to give uh out um bigas yeah rice and then yung mga nanays sa, com sa community yan. and another photo next um so mm -hmm. so far from those COVID nineteen um relief operations from March to July um we were able to gather one million um more more than 1 million um, worth of in-kind donations while 17,000 of this are from cash donations mostly from different um, individuals that we have connected to. So we have covered 40 plus operations in 40 rangais, 3 hospitals and the 10 delivery riders and 7 checkpoints from this quarantine barangay. Next, please. So, nung time na yun, we decided na, um, ayan na nga, diba? Parang nag-grow nag yung um, organization from being a one-man team 
to a more than one one team. And then at this time, we had Christine, Stephanie, and um, Ray, Nathaniel. So we are we now we more. Pa ba yung hindi natin nabibigyan ng attention? Sino ba, ba yung um, kailangan ng may kailangan? And at this time, do nag arise yung Abacado 1, 2, 3. Um, so, from having this COVID-19 um, relief operations, we moved to um, education. So, at this time, we wanted to help naman yung mga kids, especially the those in the nursery age, na while in lockdown, they still get to um, to learn the stop um, personal or face-to-face -face classes and it is not and but this one first um planned no august and then officially september and um, your 123 can help one child. So that's the idea. Yeah, your one, two, three, and um, it's good news then because um, marami nag respond and then we were able to give out to not just here in Metro Manila and Laguna, mm -hmm. we're in the place ni Lance. since. Mm -hmm. That has been help ng social media ambassadors namin na from different parts of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. We were able to partner with them, and then yung places nila nagpartner kami with them, and then sila yung naging um team namin at this parang may chapter thing, but in an informal way lang. So next, please. And so one of the places na beneficiary of this Abacada 1 to 3 um, is sa Santa Cruz Laguna. So, this is in charge of Nathaniel Monloy. Um, he's actually our secretary. And within this um, educational packs, merong interactive learning tools, may mga modeling clay, um, food packs, and then pencils, notebooks, and the basic um, learning materials for a child and ayan this one naman from Cebu so with the help of Ooh. our social media ambassador Jazel Carabio um she's one of those um social media ambassador na nag reach out lang sa amin. but then um we were able to ask for her help para siya yung mag initiate ng um operation for Cebu so it was such a good um uh uh what opportunity for us because like, wow from from Laguna to Metro Manila and then we go out to Cebu like okay is this really for real parang totoo ba to? and then so I and Jay Zil Caravio for saying thank you so much and next please um this one man from Antique so um we tap World Youth Alliance um, it's an organization then, and we asked for their help. So from our funds, then we disperse them, this funds to um the World Youth Alliance. Then sila yung nag facilitate nung um distribution, the gathering of the materials, and on the house and what and where's of this operation. So we just collaborated with them and then talk on the phone, social, in online. And yeah, it was a successful operation then in Antique. Next, please. Mm -hmm. um, this one, man, this one from San Pedro, um, local place ni Lens. So, another thing. Next, please. Um, here in Pasay, um, another distribution for the same um, platform. And then mm -hmm. some sponsors for Abacado 1, 2, 3. Next, please. So, in Abahada 1, 2, 3, um, we were able to go there 63,000 cash donations and in-kind, 25,000 
um worth yung ka i mean 25,000 worth of in kind oh my i'm i'm nalito ako i'm sorry that's okay for cash donations and then 37 for in kind and yeah so total of 200 um children and then wow. uh different different places from Cebu Antique and Pasay Santa Cruz Laguna and then San Pedro Laguna Parang this was our first um big um project talaga na naging wow wow, wow para sa amin like talaga <laughs> Ito um another relief operation this one naman another project um named as Pag-awa ng Luzon um This was for the recent typhoon that happened sa Luzon. Next, please. Mm. No. This one naman, um, yes, for the typhoon. Um, bec- this, because of the typhoon then. Um, in collaboration with the University of Nueva Carceres, right? Um, their student council was our counterpart at the Camarina Sur. Riga City Camarines Sur. Mm-hmm. So we were able to um, give out distribution then and, and donations for disaffected families dahil sa typhoon. typhoon. Mm-hmm. Another photo ng Santa yeah. Cruz. This is in Laguna lang? I live yes. near Laguna eh. So, oh, we're in Laguna. Okay. Near, well, uh, not really near. Pero south <laughs> then. Ayan. Another photo from our sponsors. Next, please. Thanks. And Dami. so these are ano na lang, photos. Na lang. And ayan, we gathered a total of 175,000 donations um, from different individuals and group. And yeah, total of 800 families for the Luzon na for Luzon yung nangyaring typhoon. Speaking of, do you have any future projects pa in mind um, for Project Aqua or future Mm-mm. plans for the organization? Um, actually, no. Um, hindi pa tapos yung pag-ahon ng Luzon uh, distribution. Um, mm-hmm. may pending pa tayo, no? no? Yeah, yung collaborate mm-hmm. na natin project. So, may pending pa tayong two distributions na na for for uh, fire victims sa Cavite and then for Marikina. So we're planning to siguro to move it no on later date like after Christmas since nga major rush na everywhere and then baka you know mas uh, wait, madaming like, like this plan yun and so lens talaga but this week and next week Christmas na Christmas na ba talaga? <laughs> Oops, nakakaalok dito. <laughs> Oops, meron pa pala. Uh-oh. Yun, so feel ko yun nga. We, we're planning to move it parang after Christmas like uh, 26 to 28, maybe ganun yung date. And then ready naman na yung fund natin, no? Um, may mga ano naman na yung mga fund. So yun talagang date kasi ayaw natin na parang baka once na mag, mag-distribute tayo, dagsain tayo, and then hindi natin ma-observe lahat ng no, health uh, protocols, no? So, yeah. Mm. Right, right. Gusto tumaas na naman yung mga cases yes. natin, so oh, yeah. we have to be extra careful. Still um, open to accepting more social media ambassadors? Do you have a program for that? How do we sign up? Maybe there are viewers there na Curious na, oy, gusto pa, we want to become a social media ambassador for Project Kappa. How mm-hmm. can they do that? How can they reach out to you? Yeah, so basically, no, yung first term, no mga first batch actually, no, uh, social media amb- ambassadors namin, nag-end siya officially on December 7, last December 7. And then, mm-hmm. yeah, since nga, naka four months sila, no, volunteer work sa amin, and then, We're very much ano uh, happy no na nandun sila for us to support us and then ganyan we really appreciate them and then and then yun um nabanggit din namin no sa plan namin na we're, we're looking to 
open a new batch um, this December. But then um, we're thinking pa to, I mean, this month pa or next year para fresh start, you know, para a new, ano din. Yeah, kasi since we're planning then mm-hmm. uh, to continue operations pa, um, even na uh, na may vaccine season na next year hopefully so hopefully we can continue operations pa rin and to to find more partners and uh, more projects pa no and then yeah siguro um we can push through with uh, several other projects pa no and then yun meron din kami i just want to add lang na parang meron kaming um um project no in line uh, this christmas day talaga or like uh, on the 21st to 25th na parang we're planning to you know to give at least uh, some uh, essentials para sa mga ano natin mga kababayan na nasa vulnerable sectors yun so hopefully matuloy siya and then sana sa mga susunod na projects makapag-partner ulit kami sa barangay and helping hearts. <laughs> so, a while ago, um, yun nga, when you were, uh, when Rolsey was presenting the different projects you've you've done, um, I'd like to ask lang, actually, ano yung difference while volunteering pre-pandemic and during the pandemic. I'm sure kasi si, si Lance nga a while ago um, he, the one, there was an organization uh, sorry, there was a project with that you did with, with Adam Son no? before he graduated and that was actually pre-pandemic um Ma, mas ano ba mas nahirapan ba kayo or um, I I mean yeah to take safety precautions so what were the differences vo- while volunteering pre pandemic and during the pandemic? Mm-mm. Um yeah so of course no parang may struggle then for our end no para um especially no yung protocols no kung about yung gathering and then most of our struggle no talaga sa funding kasi nga um nag-start lang kami ano parang it's a family ano lang ba family affair and then and then after that na no, parang we're planning to go big and then if ev- and then yun parang we're planning to go be into rich more and more communities no um nag-struggle kami sa funding kasi parang sometimes no talagang hindi na namin reach yung yung uh, target uh, uh yung target fund namin for every project but then um um masaya kami kasi nag nag-grant pa rin yung ibang no you know malalaking companies no to to give na mga donations no para sa mga projects namin and then, ayun, ayun lang naman yung pinaka ano namin. Difficult for you guys or parang normal lang din, may, may safety precautions lang. Difficulty in terms of planning, yung the pre-plan, yung planning yeah. stage. Okay. Kasi dati, um, when hmm. pag nagpa-plan ka for um, an organization for operation, um, you just meet up at a place and then um narrate mo kagad yung import yung mga questions yung um concerns mo personally sa, sa sa within the group pero kapag um online through an through an online platform kaya rin naman but um minsan may challenges especially sa internet connection hindi lahat may opportunity ay uh, hindi lahat may um may resources para magkaroon ng maayos na connection ng internet ng um or or yung phone na makakapag give out ng maayos din na uh, um what do you call this um yung kunyari, um not all phones are the same not all laptops are the same so ba yun yung challenge 
nakaka-exhaust no, go ahead, go ahead. yung online platform. For me, nakaka-exhaust mm. yung online platform. Kasi, hindi, um, since um, nag-graduate naman ako ng 2020, hindi ko naabutan yung online classes. Pero when, um, when I have yung um, online meetings, online um, conferences, kahit nakaupo ka lang, ganito, and with your laptop, tapos nakaka-exhaust kasi mm. walang, wala, no one's around you para makipagbiroan na, um, when someone raised the question, parang pwede kang mag-joke for a while and then mar- marami kang makikita na smiles, magla-laugh and then pag online kasi iba yung ano yung atmosphere, parang mas nakaka-exhaust nga yung word. Magla-laugh and then pag online kasi iba yung ano yung atmosphere, parang mas nakaka-exhaust nga yung word. Tama. Yeah, tama yun. And then, if you also work a lot sa laptop mo, masakit mm-hmm. din sa mata mo, and you're also at home, so parang minsan di mo na alam ano yung oras ko for work, anong oras ko for, oh. for, for rest. Diba? Kaya din nakaka-exhaust yun eh. Ikaw ba, Lance? Same din? Same feels ba with being exhausted? Or mas, ano mas prefer mo? Online or actual? Yeah, same feeling then, no. Kasi parang um first na yun, nami-miss mo yung friends mo, 'di ba? Yung parang nami-miss mo yung bonding, you know, personal. Kasi pag may tawanan kayo and all, hindi hindi na siya exactly the same as yung bond nyo online, 'di ba? So, yeah. And then kasi and then pag online then like yung um operations ganito um uh, responsibilities. Nawawalan na nawawalan na siya ng boundary between your comfort zone and then ano yung work zone mo, di ba? Yung workplace mo. Na, nabubura na yung line between uh, those two separate zones. So, hindi mo na alam. Parang everyday work, work, work. Asa na yung comfort zone ko? Asa na yung parang rest place ko? Alam mo yun, yung rest zone ko. Yun, ganun. Very happy, very um Ano ba? Natutuwa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe may mga experiences ko na gano'n. Feel free to share. Baka we can start with Rosie naman this time. Mm-hmm. Um, um, personally, from ano, yung recent activity na Avocado 1, 2, 3. Um, yung beneficiary mm-hmm. kasi diba? Children. So, Sino yung most of the time na nagigive out ng smile? Pero minsan kasi sa, sa sila-sila lang din within their playmates yung smiles na yun or within their family. Pero pag smile from um, someone na hindi mo kalala, a stranger, tapos from a kid pa. Kasi ba parang kapag it's a kid, I mean kapag kid, alam mo na may innocence dun at saka andun yung genuine, genuine, genuineness. So kapag at that time, so nung nag-distribute yung men, um, when we give out yung uh, the pencils, the notebooks, especially the clay, parang, wow, oh, they're so excited. Kasi talagang niti sila. And then, um, at that time, I mean, pagkabigay na pagkamigay mo, that's the time when they will open it talaga. Tapos, isa-isahin nila yung items inside. And then, if given a chance nga, at that same place, then gagamitin nila yung items. Pero, Ayun, those kind of smile, yung innocence, yung innocent smile from a child, for me. So, yeah, same feeling, no, na parang um, every every time na ng distribution namin, no, there's there's um this feeling na you know um fulfillment, no, nakaka fulfill na mag help to reach ano out to others. Yeah, and then, you know, I just want to add lang na Project Kappa isn't just all about me, no? But more sa beneficiaries natin. And it's all about our Kapwa, no? Na parang, um, it's all about them, the vulner- the vulnerabilities of each uh, people, uh, Filipino, no? Na parang, this is not my story, but their story and the and the problems no that needs to be addressed kaya we're doing this no to address these issues and then para then 
marinig siya ng lahat, ma-inform ang lahat, even hindi yung mga nasa most vulnerable sectors na parang may problem pala, na parang there's more to to address than to, ano, than to romanticize na Filipinos are resilient. No? Parang masyado ng gas-gas yung resiliency ng, pagi, ng pagiging, ano, Filipino, di ba? You, you know, yung Philippine re- resiliency, hindi siya solution sa problems natin. No? Kung, tuloy-tuloy, kung tutuloy-tuloy natin to, it will be a never-ending cycle lang. Kung kada may bagyo, kada may ganitong uh, crisis, mm-hmm. um, sabi natin, resilient ang Pinoy. Ganyan-ganyan. So, how do you solve the problem, di ba? Wala, andun pa rin yung root cause nila. If you will continue to be like this, you know, and then, but then, kada day naman, um, I see hope, no, para sa youth natin. Kasi nga, um, the youth today is more active, no, para, rad, uh, than sa mga past generations. Na, since nga, sana magpatuloy-tuloy and mas dumami pa. Kaya we're also doing this to inspire the youth, na para to initiate uh, same advocacy or kahit anong advocacy sa kanilang uh, uh, mag-start sila sa o, uh, local communities nila, you know, para, yeah. And then, hopefully, lahat, ma- uh, lahat ng mission natin sa ano, ma-achieve natin in the end. Kasi nga, uh, youth is the, ano, ba diba? yung parang, uh, anong tawag dito, yung catalyst of change. Kasi diba, oh, parang nabangit ni Lance yung resiliency. Tapos, mm. um, when asked dun sa future plans about the org, parang napag-usapan naman na, ano ba yung future plans talaga natin? Kasi, resiliency, um, if we keep on doing this, paulit-ulit lang na may problem, we, um, we, do, um, we find solution, then we answer. So, kasi if personally, if, if asked ko ano yung... Mm, future plan for the org. We hope for a future na walang project kapwa. Parang ganun. Kasi, okay, okay. okay. Diba, yung idea na walang project kapwa, it means na wala, walang um, community na nangangailangan ng um, immediate help. Walang community na nalalept na out. Kasi big sabihin nun, lahat tayo. Kasi nga, diba, one of our vision is to have that decent life. So, sa pag walang project kapwa, we all have that decent life na hindi, walang naiiwan. Ayun nga, yung, ayun, right. That, that tagline na walang naiiwan. So, if asked, I think that's the future plan. Mm. Um, I like it. I like, I, I like that idea, actually. I think this is the first time um, I've heard this on my show, na ganun ang future plan ng organization to see na we um, are all okay and have to start from us then yes hopefully we tulungan na tulungan tayo hashtag walang iwanan um, so to one and making a difference no erica for inviting us here in your show um, it's our pleasure to be here, to be invited to such this, uh, uh, you know, uh, show. And then also, we just like to add then, uh, parang if you would like to to be a partner for Project Kappa, we're open to partner merchants like you know, small businesses. We're open then, na parang um, uh, this product for a cause, no? Meron kami ganon. And then, um, we're accepting donations even wala kami programs. And then, these uh, donations will be, uh, you know, pending siya para meron, meron kami may help to sustain our operations pag may immediate ano, plans. And then, yun. Also, meron kami a uh, new partnership this December for a uh, local scooter brand. If you wanna, ano, Meron parang portion of sales, no e-scooter siya. Bro, if you wanna, you know, check out on those, and then yeah, um, you can always uh check sa yung mga uh, projects namin, and then mga 
uh, more details sa social media accounts namin, uh, Project Kapwa on Facebook and then Instagram. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.